what we're talking about now. Oh yeah. Hi, my name is Matt, welcome back to the shop, and today we are talking about the comparison comparison between two strokes and four strokes in relation to their production of torque. So, um, two strokes um, do not produce as much torque as four strokes, and there are reasons behind this. So, reason number one is if we look at a comparison between a two stroke and a four stroke, Generally, um, because two strokes have to use their side skirts, the actual piston is kind of like a valve as it passes the transfer port and the exhaust port and what have you. The um, stroke to uh, piston diameter uh, is a lot, uh, the, the piston diameter is usually a lot smaller than it is just say for a four stroke. Four strokes generally have wider pistons. And because when combustion occurs inside a cylinder, it applies pressure to all these surfaces. Um, as the temperature rises, the pressure increases and it applies pressure. And if you have a smaller surface area compared to a larger surface area, so going more over square, then obviously there's a greater surface area to apply force to because every single one of these, you know, every square centimetre, every square inch, just say has, I don't know, 40 newtons of force applied to that in the form of pressure and obviously this is a smaller surface area than this is so generally a four stroke can extract more torque um, through the piston gen basically just on that surface area alone so that's reason number one is that the piston surface area compared to the stroke um, reason number two is because of the efficiency of combustion so if you have a two stroke and it's at the top of its stroke at TDC um, when you combust your fuel inside your combustion chamber obviously it starts to, you know, the temperature goes up, the pressure goes up it starts to apply pressure to all these surfaces but when you get to your um, when you start, when the piston starts travelling down its stroke you will then open your exhaust port and a lot of the hot gases that are still applying pressure start to piss out your exhaust. So its volumetric efficiency isn't very good. Um, where with a four stroke, it's the power stroke is that complete 190. So let's just say this is zero degrees and we could say this is something like, you know, you have your port time in degrees and this could be like 46 degrees or something like that. Where with a, a, a four stroke, it goes from, let me just do that. From four stroke, it goes from zero all the way down to 180. Sometimes shy of because then your your um, exhaust uh, your exhaust valve opens and blah 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 blah. But the timing is generally that. So the four stroke um, can extract more of the pressure from the increase in heat in your combustion chamber and eventually into your cylinder once it goes down to TDC. And um, this longer duration power stroke means that more of the energy that was in the actual um, combustibles, you know, in your fuel and your air, the energy that is released, more of it is translated into actual torque. Um, so that's reason number two. Hi, my name is Matt, welcome back to the shop, and today we are comparing two stroke and four stroke in the terms of torque production. So four strokes make, generally, like for like, they make more torque per stroke than a two stroke, and there's generally two reasons why this happens. Uh, reason number one is all to do with surf, uh, piston surface area. So in your combustion chamber, you have your piston in a two-stroke, which is quite a long piston. It's quite a long and smaller diameter piston, generally because the piston has to uh, have side skirts and all the rest of it to close off the valves, uh, close off the port, sorry, you know, your transfer port and your exhaust port. And uh, your piston uh, diameter is usually quite small, whereas in a four-stroke, um, generally it's more and more over square so your piston diameter is bigger and because force has been applied to every single square centimetre square millimetre square inch whatever inside this combustion chamber the bigger surface area you have the more pressure will be applied to that piston 
So because this is smaller, you'll have uh, your torque, and then because this is bigger, you have the torque here, and the torque is smaller for a two-stroke. That's reason number one. The second main reason for torque production, or the lack of, compared to a four-stroke of a two-stroke, is all to do with your combustion cycle. So with a two-stroke, this is reason number two, a two-stroke, you get to TDC, like so, and then your combustion occurs, but then when you get down to, I don't know, 45 degrees, something like that, um, your exhaust port opens. You're basically just starting to open your exhaust port, and all this um, pressure in here starts to leak out of here, which means the pressure rapidly falls. So if you did a comparison, um, and I'm going to use my awesome graphs again, if you did a comparison and this is zero degrees and this is 90 degrees of crank angle and this is 180 what you'll find with two strokes is is that the pressure goes up uh, as you do your oops, not that high your pressure goes up as you compress it then you get your ignition and then it starts to fall and then it'll rapidly fall off like this whereas in with your four stroke similar thing happens you get your compression you get your ignition and it just slowly starts to cut off like that and all this area here is um, the extra torque compared to a two stroke that the four stroke actually extracts from um, the combustion event that's just occurred so reason number three why two strokes uh, produce less torque is because of the pumping losses so in a two stroke when your piston starts to descend on the power stroke there's all this expansion in here and it's applying a force so just say we've got a hundred newtons of force that we can extract from this combustion event ignoring the exhaust port thing and all the rest of it just for the time being you've got to remember that two strokes are um, crankcase breathing engines they have transfer ports and all the rest of it and when it comes down here and compresses you think well great you know that's compressing this mixture that's shifting it around um, no need for a valve so to speak but the fact of the matter is is this air also has a resistance it has a pressure and when you start to descend your piston you're reducing this volume so the pressure goes up the pressure starts to climb not too much but it does actually climb and just say if the resistance force of this pressure in here was 10 newton meters then obviously when you just cancel that out you now got 90 so you're losing and these are exact numbers, but you're losing some of your force um, that you've extracted from that combustion. So again, that's a bit of a negative thing because it's using, it's part of the system and it's how two strokes work, but it is one of the shortcomings of that system. Now, the same thing happens in four strokes. So if we get rid of all this, you get what you call crankcase pulsing, which the same thing happens when your piston descends it starts to pressurise your crankcase but in the form of two strokes it doesn't matter so much because we can put a crankcase breather in and as the pressure increases in here it just pisses out the side just like that so you are there is ever so slight losses because obviously you've got to compress it and then it starts to move but um, there really isn't this issue with the same as it is with two strokes so that's the two main reasons why two strokes, um, you know, they have high RPM and they've good acceleration, whereas in four strokes are better for pulling things, you know, so when you get to bigger bike weights and all the rest of it, you know, if you had a thousand cc two stroke and a thousand cc four stroke, you'd feed, you'd say that the, the, the four stroke is more grunty, you know, it's got a lot more grunty, even though it's got less power strokes and all the rest of it. Um, the two stroke, the four stroke just produces more torque because it makes the most of the uh, fuel and air mixture that it can fit into its cylinder which is what we call volumetric efficiency um, so that's the difference between two stroke and four stroke like I say there's nothing wrong with two strokes and all the rest of it everyone keeps on going on about this two strokes a shite video from an engineering point of view from a thermodyna thermodynamic view the two strokes are actually really quite good but from a volumetric uh, point of view from a fuel efficiency point of view and all the rest of it four strokes are actually better they just um, it's, it's simply because they just split up, um, split up each each function. So it has an intake, then a compression, uh, then a, you know, and then a power stroke, 
and then an exhaust strut because it splits it out it's easier to manipulate each one and to design around and just basically optimize your design to fit them anyway hope that makes sense and i'll see you in a bit